the rain too coming up. Thank you, Danielle. A state meeting regarding prison finances in Alabama resulted in a decision to increase what the state can spend on building a new 4,000 inmate prison in Elmore County. News 19 investigative reporter Dallas Parker joining us now in the studio with the latest figures. That's right. The Alabama Corrections Institution Finance Authority voted to increase the authorized spending on the project from about $623 million to $975 million. Alabama Finance Director Bill Poole says the change was needed after inflation and design alterations increased the cost projections. Lawmakers approved a total of $1.3 billion in funding to build prisons when they passed the plan in 2021. That plan tapped $400 million from the state's share of American Rescue Plan funds to help build two large prisons, including the one in Elmore County. Another prison is planned to be built in Escambia County. The initial plans for the prison in Elmore County included room for at least 4,000 inmates and spaces for medical and mental health care. Now, Poole said $623 million initial cost estimate was based on very early design efforts. Officials say they've increased the education and vocational space in the facility renderings, amongst other changes. Now, the group says inflation is one of the biggest contributing factors to the increased estimate for those prisons. As we've previously reported, the U.S. Department of Justice sued the state in December 2020, alleging that conditions in men's prisons violate the Constitution because of the violence, drugs, weapons, and other problems. Governor Ivey and legislators hope the new and improved facilities would help address those overcrowding and safety issues in state prisons. Now, last month, Alabama Department of Corrections Commissioner John Hamm gave the legislature's Prison Oversight Committee an update on the prison construction and showed photos from the Elmore County site. Hamm said the Elmore prison was on schedule for completion in the first quarter of 2026. It's not clear how these recent changes will impact that timeline.